What's going down everybody? Welcome to the channel. Brother Stevani is here. This is Command Center Wargaming. Fantastic. So here it is everybody. I've got my Warhammer 40,000 Indominus box here and it's ready to be opened. Alright, so we can see here, you know, like the box is looking pretty big. Awesome. It's a very heavy box. There's a lot of stuff in here, I think. Uh, I know everybody's, you know, been going on about this box saying how awesome it is. And it certainly is like, you know, I'm a Necron player as well. So that's, it's always a plus to have, you know, a bit of both things in here. So what I'll do, I'll just go through, I've got my screwdriver here and I'll just rip the plastic off this, get rid of this, some of that reflection there. All right. So here we go. So yeah, we get, we get our Marines here, we get our Necrons here, which is really awesome. We all know what's inside it, but um, we've got the rule book. Okay, we've got the uh, captain, lieutenant, the chaplain, the duty car, the blade guard, ancient, ten assault intercessors. Those are the ones I'm excited to uh, to do up. We've got the blade guard veterans, the outriders. Those are the other ones I want to do up. And my favorite, the eradicators. Even though I don't think they look the greatest, I really like the rules. Uh, and then we've got the necrons. So the Overlord, the Royal Warden, the Plasmancer, the Scope Tech Lord, Necron, Necron Warriors, the Cryptothrolls, the Scorapeth Destroyers, Canopec Plasmites, Canopec Reanimators, Canopec Scarab Swarms. There is a lot of plastic in this box, that is for sure. Let's just get this one open here. Now, yeah, I was been thinking what I wanted to do with this box, and... Uh, you know, what, what I should sort of paint them up as. And I think the way I'm going to go with these is I'm going to go with uh, a homebrew chapter. I think Locke, uh, Locke was onto something there um, about the uh, iron scars. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I'm being dead serious, by the way. Um, I think I'm going to call the uh, my homebrew chapter iron scars. And they'll basically be... Uh, part of the blood the blood angels rules so i'll use them with blood angels rules so here we go there's a little bit of art there which is pretty cool i should start hanging these up around my my room a bit shouldn't i on the channel so we've got something else to look at when i'm doing these videos here uh, but anyway yep there it is it's looking really awesome okay we've got the plastic all right so there's just a, like a bucket load of plastic in here isn't there all right, very, very nice models, very, very high quality models. All right, so you can see here we've got the bikes there, which are awesome. All right, I think we've got a little bit of a shadow here from the camera, so that's all right. I'll just sort of bring it up a little bit further so you can see. Which is awesome. All right, so that's part of the bikes. Then we've got, what's this one here? This is the, oh, these are the Assault Marines, I believe. So they look really awesome as well. Fantastic. And then we've got, okay, this is some of the Necrons. So it looks like the two commanders are on the same sprue. So the Necron Lord and then the uh, Close Combat Captain. All right, more assault marines. We've got the, yeah, more Necrons. These look like warriors. Or it could be the crypt, the other ones, the melee ones. I'll just get you a really nice view of the sprue there. And we've got, yeah, some some more. Once again, the lieutenant and the the sub commander, the Necron sub commander, basically uh, on the same sort of sprue. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, with my with my homebrew chapter, my homebrew legion, uh, I think look, I would just paint Blood Angels. Um, I think uh, just talking to only Adonis again. He's he's back around and stuff, and uh, which is good. And uh, he's saying he's gonna be playing Blood Angels as well. Um, the only thing with, with me is I want to do a Horus Heresy Blood Angels uh, force. So I don't want to be painting double reds. Now, I might, I'll might still be painting red stuff for the, the 30k chapter. Um, but I don't want to do a whole army of red guys with the Primaris. So 
I'm actually going to do something a little bit unorthodox. It's something that I would never ever do usually and I'm actually heaps against. And that's to paint camouflage marines. Yeah, that's right. It's a bit weird. Um, but I figure, you know, I want to do, do something different for my uh, 40k because I'm so rigid with my 30k stuff that I think, you know, it'd be awesome like for my 40k armies to just be a little bit more out there, a little bit more abstract, you know? Be a little bit more bold with them. So here we got some more Necron sprues and things like that. Which are awesome. So, models, a lot of plastic here. And then we've got the rule book too. So the rule book is huge. Like that's actually, I'm going to be doing another video on the rule book. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Here we go. Some more Necrons. All right. And uh, my least favorite model, that guy. That guy with no shoulder pad. Yeah. Not a fan of that one. Not a fan at all. I think I'm going to convert him up into something else. But then we've got, yeah, we've got the uh, Melter guys, the Eradicators on here, on this sprue. So yeah, like, I mean, I admit, this, it's all here. It's all definitely here, and it's all looking good. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more plastic than that. Um, but whatever, who cares, you know, like, as long as it's all here. As long as it all creates, you know, what's in the box. So another piece of art separating things. Which is exactly the same as the other piece. Let's just check the back. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, and then we have the goodies. So this is this is what I'm I'm really interested in. So let's see. All right, we've got our little artwork thing. So it looks like there's a like a sample to a book, which looks really cool. Uh, then we've got. I'll just pull these out. These are all the bases. Lots of bases here. What's going on here? Did I only get two bike bases? <laughs> Are you serious? I got gypped? How many... Wasn't it three bikes? I was sure that, like, there was three bikes. Looks like there's only two... Two bases for bikes in here. What's going on? Oh, well, I got my evidence from for GW because I literally unboxed this on the camera um, let me just check the, the box for a second and yeah there's meant to be three bikes would you believe that would you believe that brothers I um I've been chipped the base by the looks of it unless it's in here somewhere else oh no no it's here it's here I was gonna say because you know, it's funny that I've never, ever had a missing piece out of a Games Workshop box. Ever. Ever. I've, I've had friends who've had it, but I myself have never had a missing piece. So, that would have been the first time. The first time. Right? It's a pretty, pretty brutal unboxing, this one. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, that's sort of like the artwork there. Abaddon and, and Gilliman. Fighting, uh, it sits in the box. We've got the transfers. All right, so you'll do like most of the first founding sp uh, Space Marine Legions with this. You've got Blood Angels, Ultramarines, Wolves, uh, Dark Angels. Yeah, not really much for, I suppose not all of them. This is the main four, the Golden Four. It's not even Imperial Fists. That's interesting. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. All good. If pure fist transfers aren't hard to come by. So then we've got the rule book here. And the rule book I will be checking out in another video. And this is really awesome. Uh, I'll, I'll be going through this rule book from front to back. So stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. All right. Hit a like on the video. It'd be awesome. And we'll be going through this guy. Really good quality rule books. Fantastic pictures. Oh, is that Alpha Legion? Looks like it. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's funny that. GW, you still can't paint Alpha Legion very well. 
Still look good though, but um, everything else looks looks fantastic. There's a lot of a lot of pictures in this book. It's a really nice book. It's chockers of art, absolutely chocker block of art. Anyway, I'll save this for another video. Uh, it'll be a good one. All right, but we'll just move this over here for now. That's this is about like what's in the box. And then we've got looks like looks like to be instructions. So the edge of silence. This is like I think this is like a mini. So it's like a little bit. Oh, okay, stat sheets. So you got stat sheets here for all the new units uh, in the box. Now I'll go through them for errors and stuff later. Um, but still, you know, it's all good. They look look really good. That's oh, cool. Edge of silence. So yeah, I won't do another video for this. So we'll just go through and have a have a look at this one properly. Okay, so from front to back, got like a map of the uh, Pariah Nexus Segmentum Solar. Is that the Segmentum Solar? Might be a different area of space. It's the Ultima Segmentum. Anyway, cool. Talking about the Silent Kingdom. Some really nice artwork there. Pariah Crusade. Risen Ancients. Necrons. Just a bit of an army guide. Um, similar to the army guides in Codexes. Um, I believe that Games Workshop just announced a new Space Marine Codex today, uh, or yesterday. Also, there's a new tank coming, which is going to be awesome as well. But in the meantime, you have these sort of reference sheets to go by. They really do look good, those bikes. Maybe I will just do them Blood Angels, normal Blood Angels. But, um, I'll have to have a look. But I'm thinking I, I definitely want to do them Homebrew. I don't think the camouflage is going to work very well with these because they're already very busy models. So are these. Like the bikes that look good on. The assault marines would look really good on. But yeah, we'll see how we go. I might just do them. I might just do them standard. All right, some uh, some stat sheets there, power ratings. Cool. Awesome. And then we got the rule book. Uh, so not the rule book, the instruction manual. So the instruction manuals here with everything you get in the box. There's a lot of stuff in there. You can have a really nice game with this kit. Sprues. And yeah, just the instructions. Cool. So look, in the interest of being thorough, I mean, I wasn't going to go through every page, but you never know. There might be someone out there who needs the instructions who might find this useful. So I'll just go through every page. You never know, I might lose the instructions at some point. And I can look back at this video and freeze frame it. So it's really cool. Awesome, yeah, and that's it. So that's the unbo me unboxing the uh, 40K Indominus box, everybody. Uh, I'll get on to the next video soon. Uh, I do have some important information, some news that I want to get to you guys, but because we had the app thing going on, um, I did that other video instead. Um, but yeah, it turns out you can still buy the old Citadel paints from the 90s. They're just under a different brand now. But uh, more in the next video, everybody. This has been Brother Stavanius, and I'll catch us all next time.